Okay, quick video about um, the variable resistor, this piece of equipment here, uh, which is also known sometimes as a rheostat. It can also be known as a fixed resistor as well. Now, in variable resistor form, what we find, uh, what we have is, uh, is that we can put the current into one of these terminals here. So let's say it goes into this one. And that current will go through these tiny little wires. It has to go round and round and round and round and round, and round the wires. Now, we know that resistance is equal to resistivity times length divided by cross-sectional area. So if length goes up, resistance goes up. So I can adjust the length that the current has to go through very simply by sliding this dial oh, there we go, up and down. So what I need to do is connect, if I want to use it as a variable resistor, I have to connect the other terminal to there. So now the current is going to come in this way, round and round, 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 up through to here and through this very thick bar here. So this very thick bar has a very high cross-sectional area. So very low resistance, so it just comes straight out through the top. Okay, the symbol, remember, for a variable resistor is this. It has the arrow through it like that. Okay, if I want to use it as a fixed resistor, well, I need to make it go through all the wire, all the way, and I ignore this top rail entirely, so I'll just plug it into there at the bottom. Okay, and that's a fixed resistor. So now, it doesn't matter what I do with this, all the current's got to go through all the way from one end to the other. That's a fixed resistor, so we'd remove the arrow, and it would look like that. If I wanted to use it as a rheostat, now a rheostat, if you remember, is a potential divider. Well, how does it look? It looks like that. It looks like a fixed resistor. But then I also have this tiny little uh, fly lead coming off here. So I can actually change the value R1 and R2 by moving this fly lead across. And normally we have a, a voltmeter or some sort of device there. And what we do by moving this along, by moving this, this bar along here, we change the voltage across here. And to set that up, we set up as a fixed resistor, first of all, the, ins is the inside loops are here and here, and then we have our fly lead, I know some students were practicing with these, uh, just moving it up and down like this, or instead we can connect it to this terminal here and use this as our fly lead, like that. And that's this piece of equipment set up as a rheostat, okay, and the symbol for rheostat is there.